Here is Danny and today. Adam Freeman, community manager at DICE, has explained a few things on why there are so many tier skips in this chapter and why so many items are stuck in a limbo between being near finished and release. And of what the future of chapter 6 will look like. So I asked on the In This Week in Battlefield Reddit thread if this entire chapter will be tier skips only after getting 4 already with at least another one coming tomorrow. He said that DICE wanted to have more tier skips in this chapter since more weapons were pushed into the chapter rewards. Because DICE has seen better usage of the new guns and unlock rates. So DICE thought having tier skips makes sense and encourages more folks playing. However, DICE accidentally released the M2 carbine and the M37 shotgun due to a configuration issue. Bad for DICE, but good for me as a YouTuber. So DICE had to fill in those roles with something else, which resulted in empty slots in the weekly missions. So they added the tier skips for the weeklies and are still happy with that choice. DICE plans to end the tiers this chapter with cosmetic items that aren't in the game yet. So it needs a patch. However, due to the current situation and everyone at DICE working from home, those might also be filled in with tier skips. He also said there won't be any new weapons or equipment, so the leak by Temporal about the double sluice coming this month seems to be incorrect. Adam mentioned in a different post that they found a game breaking bug with a finished item, so it might have been this thing, hence why it's delayed. Anyway, in the second post, someone mentioned the obvious point that Battlefield has a ton of unreleased and basically functional items in the game, like the Shukran shotgun which was seen in a pre-release trailer, and of course the Chow Chat which is in single player and co-op. He said that the Shukran was moved to 5v5, and those guns and cosmetic items made for it behave differently than in the normal game. Obviously the cosmetics need to be functional for all characters available. He said that the items aren't 100% game ready yet and aren't intentionally holding them back to create an opportunity down the road. In order for guns to fit in the game they need a bunch of things like unlocks, cosmetics, assignments, ways to track the stats and more. And of course a bunch of QA in order to eliminate as many possible problems while keeping in mind the overall balance of the game, which all costs time sadly. So for example, if DICE wanted to add the Shugren, they needed to dedicate resource into getting it to work, which takes away from whatever big thing DICE is working on right now. They want to release stuff eventually, so possibly when the big chapters are done, Germany has lost the war again and DICE can work on smaller things for Battlefield 5. Then he started about vow digging. He ain't blaming Temporio at all and says all the blame is on DICE, like I've been saying. It shouldn't be in the files for us to find and DICE typically won't engage with data mines. Minus one time. Where Temporio found one of those weird suicide bombs for the Japanese faction before the Pacific was released. It was indeed worked on for a short time, but it was cancelled because it wasn't very sensitive to the events of World War II, while keeping it balanced with the gameplay. He speaks highly of the way Temporal does his stuff, and he says you should always take his advice of taking all the data mined stuff with a grain of salt. Adam also ends it off by saying DICE is a creative company and some things stay on the cutting room floor. But hey, that sums it all up. Subscribe for more. This was Danny, and I see you on the battlefield.